Okay, here's a helper video for problem number one. In the following Argon diagram, the point A represents the complex number negative one and four i plus four i. So um, if we're just talking about an xy coordinate plane, that would be negative one and four. Point B is negative three and zero. So if on a just regular coordinate plane, that would be negative three comma zero. And they tell us that this is a square and they want us to determine the complex numbers represented by point C and D. So this is actually really simple. All we got to do is figure out uh, how do I need to go to get from B to A. So I need to go straight up and straight over. So how far up do I need to go? So I'm going from zero up to four. So this is a four four units to go from zero, my y value is zero, up to a y value of four. So that's four. You can think about it as finding the slope as well. Basically, I'm trying to find the slope, rise over run. So um, change in y over change in x. So I could do it that way as well. So I would have four minus zero over negative one minus negative three. So I'm going up four and then negative one minus negative three is positive two. So I'm going up four and over two. So this has a positive slope of two. So that means that this has to be perpendicular. So if this has a slope of positive two, the perpendicular slope is going to be negative one half or negative two fourths. So to get from this point to this point, I just need to go down two and over four. So I'm going to go down two and to the right four. That will get me to point D. So if I'm starting at negative one and four, so I'm starting at negative one and four, and I want to go to the, um, I want to go down two, so I'm going to subtract two from my four. So from my four, I'm going to subtract two, and to my negative one, I'm going to be adding four. And that'll get me the coordinates of my point D. So that's going to be 3, 2. So this is going to be at 3, 2. And same thing, I can do the same thing here for point, point C. Again, all the sides, these two sides are going to have the same slope. These two sides are going to have the same slope. So to get from B to C, again, I'm going to have to go down 2 over 4 down two over four. And since I'm using the same, you know, the same side lengths each time, the hypotenuse of those right triangles are always going to be the same length. Okay. So um, to get here, I'm going to be going over four and down two. So I'm going to make it really easy on myself. I'm not even going to bother writing it down. So I'm going from negative three and I need to go four to the right. So that's going to bring me to positive one. And then I'm starting at zero and I need to go down two. So that's going to bring me to negative two. So those are the coordinates of those points on an xy plane. So now if I write them as imaginary coordinates, d is going to be at three plus two i. And c is going to be at one minus two i when I change them to imaginary numbers. So there you have it. In fact, I probably... Let's see, how do I want to write this? In fact, we probably just want to write it like this. C, D equals and C equals. That's probably better. Bam. There they are. Those are the complex numbers represented by the points C and D. So that's problem one. That was the one easy problem on this assignment.